Hello, it's Bob Pandolfo, and welcome to another edition of Power Pace with Pandy. It's Monday, September 16th, 2024, and going to look at um, a long shot winner at Parks from last Wednesday, and my um, two systems, Formula Pro and Power Pace. So, this was a horse named Sundria, a mare, and a non winner is a three lifetime $25,000 claimer. Who paid 55.60 in a six-horse field? So this is one of the good things about computer handicapping. So first, we'll take a look at Formula Pro. It's a six-furlong race, so I'm going to rate on pace, which is what I usually recommend, what I always recommend. And you can see that Dazzy is ranked first on pace, and Sundria is ranked second. And Sundria is ranked First, it's tied for ability, and first on stamina, which means that she finishes well. Um, what's interesting, though, is she's, you know, she's ranked, she has good ability and stamina, which means that she can finish, but she's also second on pace. And then, as, as some of you know who've been following uh, my videos, fraction is a, the best long shot indicator on Formula Pro, especially in sprints. So I look for the horse that's ranked first on fraction for, for long shots. And this horse, Sundry, is, worth, is ranked first on fraction. Usually that means that the horse um, did well as far as keeping up with, you know, a quick pace. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pace type figure. It's not a late pace figure. So that, that's interesting. And then we're going to look at power pace. Now, power pace, if I rank on speed... Sundria is ranked third, and you can see there's only three horses that have an average of 80 on speed. And but Sundria though has a 101 late rating, which is seven points higher than any other horse. Now, when you're using power pace and you see something, you, you always want to look for anything that sticks out. On the AE2 is the adjusted pace call, nothing really sticks out, right? On the speed, nothing really sticks out. There's no horse with an advantage. On the ESRs, there's nothing that really sticks out that much. Um, but here, the 101 does stick out. So what does that show you? It, it's, it shows you that the horse, you know, can finish. But on power pace, man, these these ratings that I include in here, like like late, is is a, it's an algorithm I created where. I'll give the horse bonus points on its late rating if the horse did something early that I thought took away its its energy. So it's it's a little hard to explain, but this these are you know these are computer algorithms that that I created. Um, but still, it, that's this this is a twenty this is a horse who's twenty to one in the morning line and has a seven point advantage, and again a number that really sticks out. And you, you look at this, and you can see it has the long shot number one ranking on fraction, and has good ratings overall. And you know she got, she ra raced off the pace, but not as far back as she normally does. And she paid fifty five sixty in a six horse field, and the obvious uh, favorite finished second, who um, is ranked first, as you can see here. As you can see, not a hard exacto to come up with. <clears throat> you, you know, you could have even keyed the favorite with, you know, two horses and had it. <clears throat> and same thing here. Here, you just box the top two horses, and there's, you know, the exacto, which paid 176.60 for $2 exacto. Um, now, I want to look at the PPs, and I'll show you. This is, again, is the strength of, you know, computer systems. In power pace, I... I created these ratings. Here, let's bring up power pace. I created these ratings based on two PP lines, not picking out one PP line. You know, a lot of times when you read handicapping books, they say pick out the best recent race or something like that. Um, the way I created these, this is a, 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 an average of two ratings, two races. And then in Formula Pro, it's an average of three races. And that's the way I wanted to do it. I want different looks, right? I want these systems to to be able to work together, to, you know, to, to give me like a functionality, to give me a, like an overall view of, of horses' um, abilities and, and, and try to, you know, 
and especially trying to spotlight horses that may have a chance at a price. So look at the PPs. So you look at Sundria as a four-year-old. She was racing well. She won a forty thousand dollar claimer. Then she only lost by two lanes in a stakes race. So then she comes back after like an eleven-month layoff, and you forgot to figure she's probably not going to fire. She runs into a non-winners of one big key race. Right? You can see these two horses came back to repeat, I mean to win. Then they drop her into a $25,000 and she breaks slow. And she really doesn't do anything. And then they put her into a $12,000 claimer and she perks up a little bit. So she loses by 15 in the first stop back, loses by 9 in her second stop back, loses by 5 in her third stop back. So she's you know, on an improving pattern. You know, and it's always good to see a, a, the last race improvement if you're looking for a long shot. Another thing here now, and one of the things I don't like about Sundry is that, you know, she is a closer, but the, but the fact that she had number one ranking on Fraction shows that she had some sort of middle speed that showed that she can keep up. Um, you know, when you, when you look at it on using my computer systems, you know, which, and that's, that's again, the strength of algorithms and computer systems. They're going to be able to see things that don't look that obvious, you know. And of course, we're taking an average again. We're taking a snapshot of the horse and kind of, you know, seeing what kind of ability these horses have instead of just looking at one line. So she had the improved improve last race. She's only making a fourth start of the year, right? So she's had 26 days off, so she has more time to train, you know, get into better condition. Another thing, too, is she had a, a rider change, you know. And it's funny because a lot of long shots that win, have a rider change. And, you know, I've I've talked to a lot of handicappers about this, both in thoroughbred racing and, hand, and in the harness racing. And it's really interesting because normally with rider changes or, jock, or, or driver changes in harness racing, you think, well, I want to look for a, you know, a positive rider change or a positive driver change. But sometimes just change seems to help. A lot of horses that win at prices have a different jockey than, than normally rides them. Or a different jockey that rode him last time, and especially a different jockey that, that's been riding him. Like this, this horse has been ridden by the same jockey in almost every start, you know. And and then he, and then they and Haddock Dexter gets the horse, and Haddock Dexter kept the horse a little closer. So it's just funny how that happens. There was another horse that won at Parks um, in the last race here, Whiskey Prize, and paid eighty four dollars. And this horse was turning back from a route to a sprint for, you know, a very, very good trainer, Kathleen O'Connell, and getting a rider change to an apprentice in the same type of thing, you know. Uh, and we'll take a quick look at it. This horse had a, had, was, was tied uh, for on, on Formula Pro. Um, Whiskey Prize was tied for race distance. So there were two long shots that had number one on race distance. All these race distance, form, and fraction all come up with good long shots. I like fraction as the best long shot indicator, form is second, and then race distance is third, based on the stats that I was keeping. But all three of them, you know, they get these big long shots. It would have been better. I mean, I would have been tempted to bet this horse if it was only one rank first, but it was tied with... Uh, I stood, and 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 the other, the rest of the horses are, aren't good, but what's which is interesting though too. Again, you got that that rider change. Um, let's go down a little more. Okay, uh, um, come on. Sorry, it's just gonna get. For some reason, it's not staying. Okay, I'll go like this. Yeah, so very good trainer, Kathleen Cook, uh, Crook uh, Damasi. So she's second off a layoff, and she, she, you know, the horse stalks the pace of tires with a rider that always rides him. And then she cuts him back into a sprint, and he, and he, sh and, and he shows a win, seven furlongs down here. But then seven pounds off with the switch to an apprentice rider. And again, it just seems that that happens so much where... They get a different rider than the riders, you know, been been riding the horse. Um, there's a there's a handicapper for a harness side, Derek Geiner, who uh, handicaps um, harness racing, and he'll often say in his picks, 
you know, gets a rider change and maybe a new set of hands will help. It gets a driver change, I should say, because it's harness racing. So it'll say, new set of hands may help. Or, you know, so uh, I've seen that many times, you know, uh, and, and, and I've seen that a lot in thoroughbred racing with long shots where they get the switch. And I like when they switch to an apprentice anyway, because you are getting that seven pounds off. And, um, but you know, it's just another interesting thing to look for with long shots. But again, going back to, um, you know, the, the, the handy, the, 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 the computer programs, you know, here's the horse sundry ranked first in three categories and pays, you know, over $50, you know, with the obvious favorite second, you know, that's why these systems are different, you know, as handicappers, and I've explained this, you know, a number of times, when we look at PPs and we tend to narrow in to focus on the most obvious horses, you know. But the thing is, these horses aren't machines. So a horse like this, Sundria, this shows that she was good enough to win if she runs one of her better races. And here she was, fourth time off the layoff, coming off an improved effort. And this time, you know, she had that, you know, she had 26 days more of training. They may, they probably just, they didn't put any bullet works into her or anything, but they probably just, you know, jogged her around a track several times a week, you know, put more conditioning into her. You know, that's one of the reasons, the ways they train these horses is they just put them out in the track and they just keep going around in circles, you know, slow, you know, build more stamina. And on this day, she was feeling pretty good. She got the rider change and she was ready. But this showed that she had the ability to beat this field. And this wasn't a very good $25,000 field, too. That's another thing. And this, everything fell into place for her. So anyway, um, just wanted to point that out. And, and thanks, for, thanks for watching. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel. It's free. I appreciate it. And lots of luck.